In our last lesson, we created our first Hello World extension in ClickSense. And in this lesson, we're going to take our learning a little bit further and start exploring the Hypercube. So what is all the fuss about with the Hyper Hypercube? Well, the Hypercube represents uh, an extraction of data that's loaded for our applications. So in this example, it's going to be a set of data loaded in our extension object. So quite simply, just think of it as a set of dimensions and measures that result in a table that's returned from the click engine. In our example, we're going to pick one dimension and one measure from the data model which we loaded in our last lesson. So we're going to look at the transactions table and we're going to load dimension one and expression one. So to make things a bit easier, I'm just going to split screen. Let's actually have the application on the left. And then I'm going to access the dev hub on the right. And let's duplicate our Hello World extension and create a new extension called Hello Hypercube. So I'm just going to edit the description. I'm going to call this querying the Hypercube. And I'm going to add an author. So navigating to our .js file. This is the code that we finished with on during our last lesson. So now we're going to extend this to return some data from the Hypercube and render that uh, in the console log. So first of all, we need to set some initial properties for our extension. And we need to define the hypercube. We'll use the queue hypercube def uh, syntax for this. And we need to set an initial fetch of data for our extension. So we set the number of columns and rows that we want to um, extract in our initial data page uh, from the data model. So there's a maximum size of 10,000 cells that we can return. So if you want more than that in your extension, then you'll need to page the object for that additional data. So I'm going to set a Q width of two and Q height of 5,000. Add this here. So think of this as the initial set of data that we're returning from the data model, um, not linked to the number of dimensions and measures you can actually select on the extension. That's what we're going to add now. So we're going to define our properties panel in our extensions. So whenever you use extensions in Click, you'll notice properties on the right hand side um, where you can select dimension measures and, and add other customizations. So this is what we're going to start to build now. So we're going to add type of items and we'll list our items in one second. Component is accordion. That's the, the menu styling in ClickSense. And now we're ready to list our items. So we're going to add dim one dimension and one measure in this example. So we'll add our dimensions, dimension first. Min one and max one. And then our measures, similarly, so measures, min of one, and max of one. OK, 
Okay, so that's our properties completed. And now we're going to move on to our paint function. So I'm going to add into our paint function the layout property. And layout is responsible for the data and properties of our extension. And add that in there and what we're going to do is just return layouts in the console log so we get an understanding of of what exactly that's doing so let's just take a quick look at this code we're missing a comma here and this highlights so hopefully this is all looking good and now we're going to return to our extension and and see what 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 layout is returned in the console i'm going to create a new sheet and call it hello hypercube and then i'm going to drag so our extension object has not appeared yet let's refresh the page save and refresh and see if that pops up okay and we have a hello hypercube extension which we're going to drag onto the screen so okay so that's not as expected um, let's take a look at our code you can notice a slight typo there for our definitions and then let's refresh And that's more like it. So now we can add a dimension and measure to our extension. I'm going to add dimension one and measure of expression one. So the extension is still rendering the HTML element which we inputted in the first lesson, um, but there should be some behavior in the in the console. So let's press F12 and bring up the console log. And again, I'm just going to save and refresh the page. You can see here we have our layouts returned in the console log. And part of the layout, we can see we have a Q hypercube. So we have a Q hypercube element, which is part of the layout. Now let's take a look at that Q hypercube element in a bit more detail. So I'm going to comment out the layout console log. I'm going to create a variable called hypercube and we're going to return the properties from the at Q hypercube. So there's our variable and again we just want to plot that in the console. Just going to save and then refresh the page. Okay, and now we can actually look into the hypercube and have a look at what has been returned from the click engine. So let's expand Q data pages. Uh, there's good documentation on these on, on the click, uh, click site if you want to take a look at uh, these are other properties in, in more detail. Uh, Q data pages returns the object array of the data table. So we have one data table, which is why we have an array zero, and that contains um, a Q area. So Q area is the default settings on the amount of data that Click has returned from the, the engine. Q matrix is our row by row uh, array of, of data. So we can have a look cell by cell at each of the data in our array. So we can see first row, two columns, dimension A and returning the value of 28,320. 
Similarly, in our second array, we've got uh, dimension B and 94,501. So just to make it a bit clearer in terms of what that hypercube is actually returning, I'm just going to create a very quick table. And I'm going to add the same dimension and measure that we have uh, returned in the console log. So that's some expression. And then you can see uh, this table really replicating the, the hypercube array that we're returning. So dimension A, 28320, and so forth. Okay, so in this lesson, we've explored the hypercube in click, and we've returned the data from the hypercube into the console log. In the next lesson, we're going to actually render this data in our, our custom extension.